So, so both the, the theory of the medicine intrigued me and also the lifestyle of just an acupuncturist looked like something that I would be happy doing. So my name is Sarah and um, I'm studying Chinese medicine at Five Branches University. I studied rhetoric in my undergrad at UC Berkeley. Um, so I did a lot of reading and writing before. Um, I also took an online class uh, through Coursera. Um, I think it was through Shanghai University. They had an intro to Chinese medicine. And that was all in Chinese, so I watched with my mom and she like would help translate it. And so that was, that was fun because it was a way for us to bond and we also were learning about something. Um, yeah, definitely. Like I said, I think any kind of education, learning anything new that you take to heart will change how you think and changing how you think will change your behavior. So um, just overall, I think all of, all of us, all the students here have learned how to take care of ourselves a little bit better. We are able to recognize um, a lot of the small things that we thought were normal before. Now we can see our indicators of imbalances and we can take care of that ahead of time before waiting for it to become something chronic or, or just more acute. Uh, definitely while I was growing up, I was always very skinny, uh, like tend to be more underweight. So I tried to eat as much as I could um, and try to gain weight. Um, and I think over time I was definitely creating stomach heat for myself, though I didn't know at the time. Uh, so I would get hangry which is the term for getting angry when you're hungry. And I thought that was normal. Like we even have a term for it in our culture. So I thought that was, it's common. So I thought it was okay. And so coming to school and we learn all about like stomach heat and one of the signs of stomach heat is getting angry when you're hungry. And I realized I had it big time when I was going through college. So that was, that's an example. I think the most challenging class is formulas because first off you had to memorize all the herbs in all the herb classes and if you didn't memorize those well it will bite you when you come back when you come to formulas because you have to know the herbs individually and now you have to memorize who the herbs get along with, who their friends are, who they're more commonly found with and who you don't want to combine them with. Um, so for us, it's just it's difficult because it's a ton of memorization. But on top of that, you have to know the theories and the strategies really well. I would say go go get treated by an acupuncturist. I think to experience the medicine is the most important. You can read all about it and enjoy the theory, but if you go experience it and you don't enjoy it or you don't believe in it, you don't feel like it has any real effect then you won't feel as motivated to learn it and go through four years of school.